welcome to Jam with Dr. Terry, where Jam stands for Jesus and me. I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Happy Easter! It's Resurrection Sunday. Dr. Terry, why do we call it that? It's because Jesus rose from the grave. He's alive. He's not dead. Jesus is unstoppable, even over death. Remember, on Jesus' road to resurrection, he was betrayed, lied upon, beaten, mocked, and eventually nailed to a cross and crucified. Jesus even prayed to his father, God, for another way to save the world instead of him having to go through this torture. Jesus also wanted to do God's will. So he was obedient to God. After Jesus died on the cross, he was buried and placed in a tomb. But on Easter Sunday morning, Jesus conquered death. He rose. Now the tomb is empty. Our Jesus lives. Not even death could stop him. The Bible tells us in Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 8, that when three women who had followed Jesus went to the tomb, they found it was empty. Jesus was not dead. He was indeed alive. Since Jesus defeated death, now we can live forever with him. Children, aren't you so happy that death wasn't the end of the story? It was God's plan. We were separated from God because of our sin. And the punishment for sin is death. We deserve to die because of our sin. But God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to save us. That's why Jesus died on the cross. He paid the price for all of us. Jesus died and rose from the grave to give us new life. If you trust in Jesus, he will forgive your sins. He will give you a new life here on earth, and he will give you eternal life in heaven. The Bible is a love story of God and his creation. Mankind messed up with God when he made us, but he loved us so much that he found a way to forgive our sins and be reunited with us. Jesus was the way. He died for the whole world, including you and me. And he wants you to know that he wants to spend forever with you. And that's what Easter is all about. When you accept Jesus as your savior, he will live in your heart. When you pray and study God's word, you will know God's plan for your life. You will grow closer to Jesus and he will show you how to live, how to serve others, and to carry the good news of Easter to others. If you already have Jesus in your heart, thank God for saving you. If you don't, you can receive him today. Let this be the day that new life begins for you. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for his unstoppable power to save us from sin. Help us to live for you and remember all you have done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.